We welcome family and friends today as Cole Woolard and Anna Liverman have brought us together today in the presence of God for an occasion of great joy and great celebration. You ready? <laughs> I think they want to go ahead and get this over with. No. I told them when we met, let's just have a good time. Isn't that what it is? Cole has always uh, been a winner, and he would make sure of that at all costs that he would win. I figured I figured that out at a young age when we played cards, and I found that fifth ace uh, tucked up in his sleeve up right there. No matter what, he would always win on cards. He loves to win, and he has surely found a win with you, Anna. That's a fact. I remember when Cole asked me for his blessing to, to ask Anna to marry him. So we take this 30 minute ride or whatever it was, then I'm in a golf cart with him and we play four or five more hours. I said, he ain't said a word yet. <laughs> so I said, is he going to do it or not? Halfway to ride home, you know, said, that's when he asked me if uh, Kevin Ann. Anna's hand in marriage. And my response was, Anna's her own person. She doesn't cave in to peer pressure. She makes her own mind up and has her own opinions. Don't change that whatever you do. Well, he quickly looked back at me and he said, I know, and that's why I love her. <laughs> I knew then did it be all right? So I guess I never gave a definite answer to him. And, and he had this puzzled look on his face. And he goes, so does that mean I have your blessing? <laughs> Obviously, I said yes, so we wouldn't be here tonight. You need to go. Um, you know, I'm proud to have you as my son-in-law. <laughs> Marriage is a bold step. It's a difficult step and to an unknown future. It is risking who we are for the sake of who we can be. Oh, do you take this woman to live together and match her money? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in prosperity and adversity and forsaking all others, be faithful to her so long as you both shall live. I do. I remember the dances, the dance recitals, t-ball games, the softball games, basketball games. Wish we could just do it all again, but time doesn't stop. You moved on to valedictorian of your high school class, graduated with honors from college, got a job and became a quiet leader, a productive member of society. And you have done this all while always being humble, Caring, compassionate to others. Someone I'm so proud to call my daughter. I cried all day. <laughs> Well, I just need to get it together. <laughs> I cried because I was like, you were going to cry. I just got emotional. And do you, Anna, take this man to live together in marriage? Will you love him and comfort him, honor and keep him in 
health and in sickness, in prosperity and adversity, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. I do. I do, I do, I do. Well, through the calm and the wind, through sick and through sin, through the losses and wins, oh, I I, Anna, take you cold. I, Anna, take you cold. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. In accordance to the laws of the state of North Carolina and with the authority of God's word and with great joy, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Cole, you can kiss your bride. We were born to meet someday on separate Cole, you know what you're getting, and you better look out for. You know, I, I've gained my first son in you, but you're hard working, you're smart, you're competitive, you love the Lord, and you love Anna. That's five good traits to have. saying about three wrong wrongs in life is steal, lie, and cheat. And this is what I want to say to y'all. Um, if you must steal, steal away each other's sorrows. If you must lie, lie with each other every single night. And if you must cheat, cheat death and spend as much time as possible with each other, please. Um, <clears throat> It's my privilege and honor to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Paul Waller. Let's be standing.